All right, what's up, guys? Mark Parson, Cornerback Pro. All right, so today, this video is going to be about recruiting, football recruiting. I want to talk about this because this is very important. I didn't realize it until, obviously, I went through it and I and I learned more. So I learned by experience, which it can, it can suck at times when you, learn, when you learn basically the hard way. But you guys who are in high school or youth, you don't have to learn the hard way because you, guys, you have guys like me. So I'm going to tell you something. It is not your football coach, your high school football coach's job to get you placed. It is not your high school football coach's job to get you recruited. That's not his job. And I want you guys to take full responsibility, parents and uh, student athlete, in this recruiting process. It's your job to do it. So I didn't realize that. So what happens is when I was young and when I was in high school, the guys before me, including myself, and then the guys after me, you know what we do? We say, oh, man, the reason why I ain't get recruited is because my coach, he ain't look out for me, man. He ain't call this coach or he didn't do this, he didn't do that. I learned from my experience that it's not his job to do that. His job is to teach. He's probably a teacher at the school. Make sure you guys stay out of trouble. Make sure you stay in class, get your work done, and stay safe while playing um, and under his care and win games. That's his job, to get uh, state championships for the school, all right? It's your job as the player and it's your job as the parent to get to get you recruited to play college ball and, you know, uh, get your scholarship, get you into college. It's your job to do that, and you have to be proactive. So you have to take action on that. That's you. And the sooner you, un you realize this and accept that responsibility, you have the power in your hands. You have the control. Um, we talk about investing in your child. So this goes to parents. I'm telling you, I, the parent, the guys that I see that are the most successful are the parents who invest in the whole high school process. So like, I'll give you an example. And I talked about my brother before. My brother did a great job. Um, from academics, like, all right, so I have two nieces. One just graduated college at University of Richmond and the other one is a freshman. So she just came in. They, one of uh, the the older one, her name is Michaela. Uh, she is in the top ten at the University of Richmond women's basketball history. She's the top ten scorer, I think, and then like the top twenty in assists, something crazy. She got a whole bunch of good, great stats. She's going into med school at uh, at Penn now. Okay, um, academics, all A's in high school. So this is something that you got to invest in. So you're going to have to invest in time, maybe tutors, maybe even just uh, staying on them. Make sure they they give you their work. Make sure they're doing the stuff. Make sure they have a daily routine. Make sure that you have an academic guide to where, okay, you're going to sit. You need to sit in the front of the class. You need to do this. You need to do that. You need to show me your work. Whatever, that may mean uh, uh, putting some money, investing some money for a tutor. Okay? Um, uh. We partner at Spark Recruit Team, like we partnered with uh, Kaplan, okay? So SATs and ACTs, that is a process. You need to prepare for that test. The first time you take the test, it shouldn't be like, well, this, you know, I'm just going to wing it. That's not how it works, right? So that's going to cost money. You're going to invest in that so that when it's time to take that, they have a really good score. So not only do they have, because I always say this, look, the easiest way to, get a, to go to college for free for you guys, I want you to pay attention, get a 4.0. Get a 4.0. That's the easiest way. That's your way out. Okay? Your way out is to get a 4.0. And the fact that you realize that, you're like, oh, shoot. Well, this is my way out of my situation. I need to do this. So you need to have a, create a daily routine, a daily plan. Um, but like I said, Kaplan, ACT and SAT, you need to prepare for that test. It's a very important test when you think about it. I know so many guys who, who couldn't go to college. They had to either go to JUCO or prep or just didn't go to school community college because they didn't have their scores. Well, why didn't they have the scores? Well, guess what? It's just like going into a game without practicing. You're not prepared. And that's the last thing you want to do, to, to go into battle, right, without any preparation. So that's very important. That's up to the parent. The parent has to get that squared away. You know, the parent has to work on that. And then you, as a student, you can't just put it all, you got to accept responsibility. Like, you know what? This is my way out. I'm going to do this, this, and this. All right? And that's why that's what we do at Spark Recruit Team. Make sure you have a step-by-step -step guide, right? All right. So then next, uh, 
So yeah, my brother, he invested time. He invested money, man, driving them to AU camps, AU games all over the place. Make sure they had uh they train with top trainers in the city, you know. Make sure they had uh the proper food, nutrition, all that stuff, man. I saw him do that from fret, like really, like middle school on. So that's a four year process. Another uh, parent, I seen parents put tens of thousands of dollars over time, right? So it seems like a big a big number, but I'm talking about over time they invested that money to their child, and guess what? Full ride. So like. I'll give an example for me. I didn't know any of this process recruiting, so I ended up, I didn't get the scholarship I wanted, so I ended up going to Fort Union Military Academy. That's a prep school. That cost 20 grand. That's $20,000. I didn't have it. I didn't have 20,000. We, we signed a loan for that, yo. But the thing is, I knew that I'm going to give it everything I had, and I, <laughs> there was no turning. I cut the rope behind me. So 20 grand. But it was a great investment. Why? Because it paid it paid off in multiple ways. If I didn't put that 20 grand up to go for me, um, you know, and it could have been easier if I would have knew the information that I, that we share with you guys. Like everybody always says, Mark, if I would have known the information that's already that you put up in this channel before, man. You know, the older guys, man, if I would have known this, it would have been like, of course, you would have had more knowledge. But if I would have known more, maybe I wouldn't have to put up the 20 grand. But look, still a great investment because I ended up going to a university. Let's say university was like, I don't know Ohio University's out of state tuition, but shoot, it's at least 40, 30, 40 grand. At least, at least every month, every year. That's a yearly thing. I got a full ride there. Okay. So that's a full ride every year. And then I actually went and played in the NFL too. So I made the money back. And then I, if I didn't, if I didn't invest in myself, if my parents didn't do that, I wouldn't, I don't think I would have been able to help as many people through my experiences going through my journey. So think about all the guys I'm helping here because my parents invested in me and I invested in me with my hard work and time, you know? So understand it, man. Uh, understand what you're going for. It's a, it's a, it's a long-term investment. You're really planting a seed that could change your life for the better and so many others, all right? Um, and it, it pays off. You know, you look at the statistics of guys of people who don't, of the, the statistic of people who graduate from college and, and, and just graduate from high school, it's like, I forgot the exact statistic. We wrote it down, but it's like, they make 60% more money in their lifetime. You know what I mean? Um, you set yourself up for a, better, for a better future, okay? It's not just about football. It's about, it's about life, man. I enjoy myself thoroughly. Like, college is one of the best times of my life, you know? Um, I meet a lot of, you meet a lot of people from different areas and you get out of, depending on where you go, you can get out of your state. And we talk about getting a scholarship. That's free. You know what I'm saying? You get paid to go. And the experience is crazy. So, you know, I just want to, I want you to get, I want the word, this word to stick out to you guys. And this is for parents and student athletes in high school. Proactive. You must be proactive. So it's your responsibility to get yourself recruited. It's not the head. It's not your high school football coach because if you depend on somebody else for what you do in your life, it's gonna be a long, hard life. I'm giving you a heads up now. All right. So there, uh, you know, there's a daily process, daily step, daily steps that you can do. You know, um, what else I wanted to tell you guys? It's gonna be an investment, man. Like you're gonna invest time, money into this there's just there's no way around it um you know obviously time studying making sure you're getting good grades working out it's going to be countless hours but i will tell you this it's worth it you know um maybe i give you guys an example maybe while your friends may be going out on the weekends and going to a party i'm talking about high school going to a party and doing all this other stuff maybe you got to work at the lo local grocery store and get you, you know, your 50 bucks for the day or 100 bucks. Maybe you'll work at a, a restaurant as a bus boy on Sunday. But I will say this. If you invest that money properly into your future, meaning maybe pay for your tutor or maybe pay for a trainer, it pays off. It pays off. So when they having fun now, they're having fun now. They're like, yo, party. Hey. But you are working on that weekend 
you get that money and you pay for a trainer or you pay for, you know, helping your books, I'm telling you, you're going to feel so much better. You're going to, first of all, you're going to grow up because, <laughs> you know, that's what you're going to have to do for the rest of your life. Anyways, you're going to have to get your money and then pay for uh, self-development or pay for what you need to get better. But I'm telling you, it pays off. So understand that it's time for us as young young boys to become young men, and you, and at the end of the day, they ain't gonna, nobody's gonna do it for you. It's up to you. It's up to you. You gotta strap that helmet on. You gotta go out there, keep your head up, and rock somebody. If they rock you, you gotta bounce back up. You know you gonna have to earn your money. You gonna have to make your money. If your parents can't necessarily do it right now, you gonna have to do it. It's either that or stay at home. <laughs> you know, it's either that. You balling on TV or you at the university and they paying for it or, you know, you go to the local community college and say, man, man, I, I could have did this, but, you know, my coach ain't really helped me out. So I want to help you guys by just giving you the understanding that it's up to you. This whole world is in the palm of your hands. You must be proactive. Obviously, you need to know what to do. Right. Your parents need to know what to do. And then once you learn what to do, execute, win. All right. So this is something I definitely wanted to share with you guys because I we didn't know this. We didn't know the stuff. We're blaming other people. When you blame somebody, you give them power. When you take responsibility, you give yourself power. And you can do whatever you want in this whole world. You can win. So this goes out to the parents, man, you, and on the student athlete. It's not your coach's job. It's yours. The sooner, the, the faster you realize this, the sooner you're going to have all the power in the world. It's in your hands, all right? So proactive, that's the word of the day when it comes to college football recruiting. Proactive. Make sure you guys, I'll include, if you want to know the steps to getting recruited and um, join our network, because we've got a network of players, former players, coaches, recruiters, you know, it's not about exposure first. I want to make sure I make that very, I want to be adamant about showing you, telling you that. It's about self-development first and then exposure. Don't think exposure first. If you don't want to get exposed and you be sorry or your grades is cr are crappy. You know what I'm saying? That's the last exposure you want to do. But self-development, think about it. The better you get, the more value you, you add to yourself, the more a coach and recruiter will want you. The more an employer will want you. The more a business owner will want to partner with you. This is going to help you in life the faster you learn this. So add as much value as possible to yourself. Well, how do you do that? Well, read books. You go on my channel. You could get better as a football player. You learn from other people. You know, you take action on it. You practice it. You, you beat on your craft every single day. You rep it out, rep it out. 10,000 rep rule. Make sure your grades are perfect. Guess what happens? Everything will fit into place. Okay? So it's up to you guys. It's up to you parents and it's up to your student athlete. To make it happen. All right, uh, I'll put college, I'll put Spark Recruit um, link in the description box. Collegefootball.io. Parents definitely go there because we give it to you. Um, we give you step by step of what you need to do, and then it's up to you to execute. You're gonna work. It's gonna you're gonna do the work. That's like that's how it, that's how it is. You're gonna do the work. Um, that's the only way. There's no way around it. I. I've tr I've tried to figure out shortcuts when it comes to that, but it's just, you're gonna do the work. Um, I watched my brother. I ended up having to do the work late. I was super late. I was basically after my senior year, scrambling around trying to get my family to this person, call this person. Hopefully, you starting out early. You're gonna do the work, um, and it all it's it's all worth it. It's all worth it. All right, guys, stay tuned for the next video. We got some really important videos coming out next. All right, peace.